Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm Sabrina here at Mum and Mrs and Me and um, I'm a mum of four and I've basically started up this channel or restarted I should say, I, I did try a couple of times before. We're going with consistency in this new year and we're just going to go with the flow, we're going to film what we're going to film and we're going to put it out there and hopefully you all enjoy it. Um, last week what I put out was my home bargains um, shopping haul, that was literally us just rummaging around, looking around the shops and purchasing everything in sight. Um, what I do realise is that um, in my haul video, I was sitting way too far back. So we're learning as we're going along. So please bear with us and I hope you keep coming back um, for more and more content. In today's video, I do have another haul, but this time we're talking fashion. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to be here to be a fashionista or anything like that. I am far from it. But as a mum of four, I think it is really important to address um, how our style changes, um, the more children we have, or just as we sort of mature and as um, circumstances in our lives change. So um, I'm traditionally um, a teacher. So the way that I dressed, you know, four, five, ten years ago was um, completely different. Actually, I'm looking at myself and I'm thinking this looks quite teacherish today. So maybe that is just still part of my personality. Um, but um, I'm no longer a, t a teacher in a traditional sense any anymore. I do still work in um, education and I'll go into that stuff um, in a slightly different video. But for the past um, few years, I have been working from home um, and um, my roles are all sort of home based. And so with that, your style changes. You have to dress differently. You don't necessarily need to um, be really smart and corporate. Um, but I also really struggled after the birth of my final two children who are now four and five. So they were toddlers in the height of um, lockdown. You know, everyone was, was in their loungewear then, in their sweats, anything comfortable. And then as we came out of that, sort of working out who I was and what my fashion sense was and my style was, um, I actually really found really difficult. And I feel like I'm only really now sort of coming into my own. What I am doing though is I am buying quality items now. Um, I used to be the sort of throwaway fashion girl, get anything that you can really cheaply. Um, but one, there's lots of ethical things that are not necessarily um, good with that. Um, and two, actually, I just want really good quality clothes that last a long time. And I'm trying to create a little bit of a capsule wardrobe where um, I know that I've got go-to things. So whatever the occasion, I've got something that I can put on and that I feel really good in it. Um, and that's where the quality situation comes in. This is going to be a haul from both H&M and a company called Stitch Fix, okay? Don't trip up over my words. Um, this video isn't sponsored or anything. Um, these are just brands or places that I shop where I've found that I've um, been able to get really good quality items and things that help me create the capsule wardrobe that I am aspiring to um, have. Um, Stitch Fix is a um, online um, sort of marketplace where stylists, um, choose outfits on your behalf so you fill out a little bit of a questionnaire about yourself you say what sort of style pieces you're looking for you go through an online digital wardrobe where they show you lots of different items tops bottoms jeans dresses shorts handbags shoes all of those sorts of things and you say yes I like or no I don't and um, it's basically like AI and the stylist kind of um, working out what your um, sort of fashion sense is what fits you based on your height and your your weight and whatever dress size that you currently are um, and they basically um, put capsuled items um, together for you now you can do this on a monthly basis um, I do it on a quarterly basis because I, I did start with it monthly and and actually, when you really like the things that they send you, it can rack up. If they send you any item that you do not like, you can literally just repackage it. You've got, um, you know, all your postage labels in your um, package and you literally just take it back to the post office or your local sort of Hermes drop off point and they come and collect it and then they they um, they don't charge you for anything. You only get charged when you say, yes, I like this item. I like this item. I like this item. They total up the amount of the items that you'd like to keep and then um, you are charged at that particular point. 
it's like a subscription type service and you can actually cancel it at absolutely any given time. Um, you can also change from monthly to quarterly to six monthly. Um, they have lots of different options. So um, I'm going to show you some of the things um, from my fix um, for this month. I almost cancelled it because um, sometimes what is generated to you in terms of a preview of what they're going to send you, you're just not happy with. So they do give you a preview and I was like, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. And I just felt like it was all wrong. And sometimes you think you feel obliged to just say yes um, because you think you're wasting whoever's time. But actually, like I said, I'm all about having good quality, well-fitting, items that really just make me feel good and are in line with my own style so um i said no to lots of things and they said right we're just going to send you a random fix and i'm like well do you know what i can send it all back if i don't like it and i've actually decided to keep absolutely everything in this box i mean if they showed me the stuff that they would sent me in the box in the preview it would have been yes 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 straight away um but there you go um i did write a note and i did say that i wanted some um sort of shirt dresses i wanted some blazers i wanted some good fitting jeans and um i really struggle with jeans and i've had about four pairs of jeans from um stitch fix from a range of different brands and that's what i want to say it's not their own brands they work with a whole host of different um labels um we've got whistles i've had all saints i've had um mint velvet loads of the higher end um high street brands as well as other brands that i haven't heard of but they are really good quality it is at the higher um price point in terms of higher end high street um but like i said when you're looking for quality and items that are going to be longer lasting um you can get that and they do lots of sportswear um casual wear smarter things outerwear everything you can get everything um and if you're like me and you get a little bit you know, fed up walking up and down the high street trying things on that aren't fitting or you're just not finding what you like. This might be an alternative to just make that shopping experience just a little bit more simplified and simplistic for you. I do apologise if you can hear any rustling in the background. It is half term and all of my children um, are at home and they're trying to break into the room while I'm filming. And we don't have time today, so we're just going to go with it. So we are going to start off, um, we're going to start off with... Um, we will start off with Stitch Fix, actually. And what I will do is I will do a try on. I'm not a model, guys. I'm a 40 year old mum of four. Um, my body has significantly changed. Um, I feel like I need to be on a little bit of a health kick in the fitness journey. I'm not in my perfect form. But what I'm doing is trying to style myself um, for how I am now and how I can feel good in my own skin. So I'm just going to hold up. Um, the different items and I'll also do cutaways um, because I will do a try on of all of these different outfits um, later and I'll edit it together so that you can see what everything looks like just to, just to show you your um, stitch fix box comes like this this is the um, logo I will leave, leave everything linked in the description box of how um, to find them um, comes with um, all of your items neatly packaged um, inside so the first thing that I got in my stitch this month was a pair of jeans. They're girlfriend jeans from Liverpool, Los Angeles. Okay. And um, I would say that I am a size 12 to 14 at the moment. These have a little bit of stretch, but they fit perfectly. And as I said, I've actually found it quite difficult to find really good jeans. I'll just hold them up so that you can see the bottom so really nice straight cut jeans i'm thinking um a nice little white top some nice chanel style pumps and a little blazer as spring comes along so um i'll put those on and i will show you that like i said i did write a note to the stylist after they previewed my fix and said um gave them a bit of direction about what i actually wanted and i did say that i wanted blazers so i then got this um cream blazer from object um is it single breasted i don't know what all the different styles are i am not a fashionista so it's just like um that i will try it on and you'll be able to see um when i first put it on i had to ask everyone in the house what they thought but actually um with those jeans and a nice little white tank top and like some beige loafers or something like that 
I actually think that will be really nice. Haven't heard of the brand um, object before, but there you go. Um, the next thing that I got, bear with me. This is inside out because I've tried it on. Sorry, this is how you know that I'm an amateur YouTuber because why is everything not prepared and ready to go? Okay, now, I'd rather you paid attention to what the dress looks like when I've got it on in the cutaways, which I will obviously overlay. But then I've got this um, sort of spring-like dress. It's got um, sort of bell sleeves um, with the sort of, you know, ruched tie at the um, hands. Um, it's a little bit open and low cut. Um, I'd say it's a midi, a midi to maxi in between. Um, it can tie in at the waist so you can overlay it with a belt um, and it's that sort of print. When I first saw the print, this is from YAS. Um, again, I don't know, this is a medium. It fits perfectly and I really like the way that it looks. And again, I think with some nice spring style shoes, maybe a blazer over the top. That's just how I wanna dress. I want to be in dresses like this. This dress that I'm wearing now as well, this is Whistles and um, stand up comes in at the waist you could put a nice little belt there and it goes all the way down to the floor i will do a proper cutaway um do you know what the jeans that i just showed you were actually um the jeans that i got last time in my last fix i don't know how they've ended up in there because i never got two pairs of jeans these are the ones and these are another pair of girlfriend jeans. These are from Liverpool or Sandy's as well. Are these the same jeans? They sent me the same pair. No, they're different. And that's what I'm saying. So I've discovered a brand whose jeans really, really work for me. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And what I'll do is I'll tell you the prices of um, all of these items. They fit really nice as well. So I just feel like I'm um, building up a good collection of jeans. The only thing I will say is, is both of those jeans are exactly the same colour. Can you see? So they're by the same brand. This one's got a little sort of rip in the pocket and things like that. They're not necessarily the same style. Um, those are girlfriend and these are... No, they're both girlfriend jeans. They're slightly different just because some of them, has got, one's got rips in it and one hasn't. But if they both fit really nice, I am going to keep them. They should really have made a note about um what things have been sent before so that they don't duplicate but that's okay um and then finally this is a whistles blazer again i think it's um single breasted um double button um really nice material good quality fits really nicely and again with the things that i've been sent that could go with this, that could go with the jeans, not necessarily the other um, dress that I showed you. But in terms of creating a capsule wardrobe, I mean, that navy blazer with white um, jeans as we go into spring, really, really nice. And that's, hopefully you can see what I mean by just talking about good quality clothes and good quality items. You get this um, little sort of receipt and document with everything that they've sent you. So it was the mint velvet Miranda geoprint hanky hem dress. So that was the flowery dress there. The, um, oh, that was mint. I, I think this one's mint velvet, not whistle, sorry. That one was Yaz long sleeve ankle dress. The Liverpool Los Angeles Marley high rise girlfriend jeans. Whistles slim jersey blazer jacket and object Lisa long sleeve blazer. Um, the cream blazers, £55. The whistles blazer, the blue one, £89. The jeans, £84. And one dress was £75. And then this one that I'm wearing is £109. Um, so, yeah, you can you can tell that it's sort of the high, higher end of the high street. They're, they're not H&M prices like the things that I'm going to show you. So, hopefully that... Um, if those things are out of your price range or you do want something that is still really good quality but a little bit more um, value for money next I have got H&M first thing that I got was this um, basic striped 
black and white jersey tee from H&M. This was eight ninety nine. Um, with the jeans and some of the blazers that I've shown you, I think that creates a lovely capsule. You know, easy to wear, go to piece to have in your wardrobe. So the next thing I picked up was this um, black and white stripe basic jersey tee a little bit baggier and longer you know on those days where you just want to cover everything up again really nice with jeans tucked in at the top little blazer or a nice little jacket over the top that's 5.99 i'm out of breath because i've just run down the stairs to get the kids out of the way <laughs> sorry okay so then the next thing is this black basic um t-shirt it's one of the tight fitting ones literally you know it's not a bodysuit style i'm not a fan of bodysuits if i'm honest i know that they can create a particular look but I'm just not into it i just don't like things clinging to me like that if i'm honest um i'm just going to button this up just so that you can get the full effect i mean you will see on the cutaways that i put on um give me one second so this is more of a blouse I'll just hold that up so it's quite loose a little bit longer at the back really flowy and sheer um this was probably the most expensive thing that i bought it was 24.99 and again i just thought that was really pretty a nice sort of cuffed um neckline um to create a really nice silhouette and sort of bell sleeves and stuff really lovely material as well but i thought that would create a nice um look what is this all right so then i tried this on so there are lots of tops that i like this at the moment that you know sort of really curve around um your bust line um it's just a long sleeve sort of t-shirt but with that neckline i thought it created a really nice silhouette that was 17.99 so just because of the extra sort of style and design that is a bit more it's also um double lined across the bust because obviously it's light material um it, it could be a bit sheer so um around your boobs you're properly covered and protected i then picked up these were in the sale these were only 10 pounds these were a pair of mum jeans hold those up um so I sort of come to the ankles really nice fit high-waisted um and again thinking nice pair of pumps little white top and a blazer over the top and then finally i got another are these mum jeans as well yeah these are another pair of mum jeans but in a slightly lighter blue so you know obviously in my stitch fix i've got a slightly darker blue just to kind of switch up the denims i really did want um to just kind of get some decent jeans haven't got any for ages and you've been avoiding it just because you've been wearing loungewear or leggings or just you know um leisurely leisure wear these are 22.99 and i've got these in a the size 14 before. although i did get a size 12 in the beige jeans that i just showed you so who knows um it's really important not to get caught up on size it's difficult i know it's difficult um but at the moment, because I know that I'm transitioning between sizes and there's work I need to do um, on myself. Um, size 14 isn't my normal size. I'm normally a classic size 12 through and through. I could walk into any shop and pick up a size 12 and that was it. But do you know what? I've just hit my 40s. So maybe this is just a new season and a new size that I'm having to deal with. And, you know, that's what I want this channel to be about, the openness for women and mums to just kind of talk about all of those different seasons of their lives, whether it's to do with fashion or the children or, you know, work or marriage or whatever it is. So um, I hope you liked um, what you saw. I'll link as many things as possible as I can um, down below. Please do like and subscribe um having you here as a community where we can all share our thoughts and feelings about motherhood um would be great i am planning to do a lot more videos where i talk about um being a mum with of four um i also have a child who's um autistic and there's lots of discussion around parenting a child with um, additional needs that i want to have discussions about 
um, I've got lots of friends and families who are only just starting their families where I actually started mine when I was 18 years old. So I've had a child in pretty much every decade of my adult life so far. Um, so there's lots of talk to talk about. Um, the dynamics of all of my stages of parenting have been really, really different and stretch for a vast amount of time. So being able to share that in this space is something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, it's been fashion and homeware so far, but we will get into parenting and um, everything else that comes along with that as the weeks go on. So thank you very much for joining me. Subscribe to my channel, Mama, Mrs and Me. Um, like and comment and turn on the notifications and all of the other things that you do here at YouTube. Your support is very much appreciated. And I will see you on Thursday for my next video. Take care.